Hi, it's Brandon, uh, KB1THM, and uh, today we're just going to look at the Yezu FT1900 uh, 2 meter radio. Really nice radio. Um, I think it's about $135 new on uh, gigaparts.com and most other places. Uh, really good uh, price. Comes with the mobile mounting bracket. Nice DTMF mic power cables, all that. Um, for a 2 meter only radio, it, really it's got a lot of features. Um, I, I guess I, um, well, let's see, here's the volume knob, squelch, power, uh, your VFO over here. Um, if we hold in the set megahertz button, we get the menu. Let's flip through, get some of the cool stuff on here temperature inside the radio. Make sure it doesn't get too hot. I haven't been using it for a while. Be low. Weather alert. Let's see. It's got the Arts, Yezu Arts uh, re signal reporting system. Not too sure what that is. Reports your signal quality or something. Uh, beep, bell, uh, it, it has a CWID feature. You can shut it off if you want to. I, I don't use it. But um, it'll basically, you put your call sign into the radio and it'll um, every 10 minutes ID for you in uh, Morse code. So that's, uh, that's convenient. CW training. If you're trying to learn Morse code, this is kind of nice. I've used it a few times. You uh, hit the here, 24 words a minute. I'll hit here. Uh, alphanumeric uh, letters. Um, just, just numbers. Uh, I don't know. Um, then you basically just hit this, and it'll just start uh, rattling off random letters and numbers. So. Pretty cool if you're, if you're uh, trying to practice. Uh, let's see, what else? Voltmeter. Dimmer. Let's see, uh. <laughs> got a lot of memories. Pretty easy to set, too. Oh, I'll make another video about that. Pager. Ooh, gotta look through the manual, see what that does. Password, you can password protect it. If, yeah. if you have people in the house that like to, that aren't licensed and uh, like to mess with your stuff, definitely want to have that. RF squelch. Repeater shift. Oh, yeah. Plus minus. Set that. Um, and all that good stuff. Yeah, let's go back to the VFO. We're in memory mode now. This would be VFO mode. So, uh, that, that's it. It's a really nice radio. It, really, it doesn't receive, um, very, the receive isn't very wide on it. Um, the lowest you can go is 136 megahertz, and that's receiving, and the highest you can receive is 174. So you can receive, um, you know, a lot of, a lot of stuff, but really not a wide band receiver, like the, um, FT8100, which I'll make another video on, uh, do a little review on that. That's an older radio, probably 1999 or 2000, but it's really nice. It's a dual bander. I got it on eBay. But anyway, uh, I'd recommend it for anyone great for the car especially, so um, 7-3, uh, KB1, THM.